Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a question that we get asked a lot. And that is, what kind of computer should I bring to campus? Short answer, pretty much whatever kind you want. The university doesn't prefer a PC or Mac. That's completely up to you. Some majors are better suited for different types of computers. More creative type majors like art and journalism tend to skew toward Mac while accounting, finance, and other majors may prefer a PC. Both will do the trick regardless of your major. Trying to decide between a desktop computer and a laptop? Your call. Both have good and bad points. I've found that a number of students that I know use laptops because of their portability and convenience. But you are also more likely to drop your laptop, misplace it, or spill coffee on it. Desktop computers are a little more durable and you can usually get more bang for your buck but try hauling one of those to class. Or not. You'll also want to note your computer's minimum specifications. If you're buying a brand new computer, disregard. Your computer is going to be fine. If you're using an older computer, you might want to double check to make sure that your computer will mesh with the technology on campus. The link to Academic Computing's minimum spec sheet is in the description below. There is one last option I almost forgot to mention. Don't buy a computer at all. That's right. You don't need a computer. There are computer labs all over campus, Mac and PC. They're all loaded with the latest software, Adobe, Microsoft, and more. And they're hooked up with free printing. That's right, free printing. Some of the labs are right in the res halls, while others are in the academic buildings. And the Halsey Lab is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But to be honest, most students still have their own computer. It's just easier for all of our Facebooking and our midnight study sessions in the middle of winter. Students do still use the computer labs. They're always hopping. If you decide to bring a computer, a few things to note. You don't need to bring a printer. As I mentioned earlier, there is free black and white printing on campus. There are also spots you can go if you need to print things in color. And don't go out and spend a bunch of money on software either. As a student, you'll be able to purchase software from the WISC software catalog for cheap. And finally, let's chat about the internet situation. Campus is fully Wi-Fi enabled. Yay! But sometimes you might want to hook your computer up directly to the Ethernet. If that's the case, you'll need to purchase your own Ethernet cord. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully this addresses some of your computer questions. We have more info on our blog, including links to more specific computer requirements and policies. So go ahead and check it out. Let us know what else you're wondering, and we'll blog about it. Till next time! kind of computer should I bring to campus? <laughs> okay. If you're using an older computer, you might want to... <laughs>